Hey, hey, we live. If you're on the replay, um, let me know that you're here. Just put like hashtag replay or hey or something or leave me a comment. I love to know who comes by and sees this afterwards. Um, now, before I forget the topic, um, the topic here I think is super, super important on this um, live stream. It's been like coming at me from all directions. I've been kind of getting this message from everywhere and realizing that something that I've been doing has been wrong, um, not necessarily wrong, but just maybe not the best choice. Um, if you're like me and you're empathic or you're like me and you consider yourself to be, well, I don't know if light worker is necessarily the word, but a light worker, a healer, an empath, any person who is doing like spiritual growth work, personal growth, growth work, a lot of us, um, we have to, we feel like anyway, right? We feel like we have to protect our energy. I'm going to share this real quick because I kind of forgot to share it in my group. Um, choo, choo, choo. Is it there? Am I on the right page? I'm not. I, I hope I am. I hope, I hope. Okay, yeah, I'm on the right page. So I'm just gonna share it to the Be Magic group. And then we'll go ahead. But here's the thing. If you are um, if you are empathic, if you're a light worker, you may have been told, and rightly so, right, to protect your energy. And I know like even I I think it's in the um, Daily Alchemy Premium members, I'm sure it is. There's a meditation to um, put a bubble of light around yourself and to protect yourself when you go out because you take on other people's energy a lot of times if you're empathic. Um, and if you don't know you're empathic and you find like you go out, you have problems being out in crowds, Walmarts, <laughs> big stores, um, sporting events used to be really, really hard for me, but um, I've gotten way better about that. But we have this advice going that we should protect ourselves and kind of put ourselves in a little bubble. And I realized um, there's a certain place that I've had to go some lately and I don't wanna say where it is, but um, where there's some negative energy or not even necessarily negative, but just conflict. And I found myself, you know, like when we put that bubble around us or we're like, I think a lot of times people who are doing this spiritual growth work we tend to, when we go out in the world, yeah, we do want to put on a protective layer and, um, you know, set that intention that um, people aren't coming into our vibration that we don't need there. But I think we end up shrinking a lot of times and pulling in our aura to keep ourselves safe, you know, contracting. We're all bundled up in our aura. Nobody gets in. But the problem with this that's been popping up to me, like I've been hearing people talk about something sort of like this, and then I was meditating and got this whole visualization around it, is that we're when we pull in our aura to protect ourselves, we end up like letting the aura <laughs> and the energy and the vibe of the place stay low vibe and negative vibe. Because if you're doing spiritual work and you're doing um, meditation and any kind of magical spiritual practice to raise your vibration, um, then you need to share that with the world, right? And I know a lot of us here do that. We, um, we do healings for people. We send out Reiki for people. We do a lot of stuff. But I feel like um, we get into a habit, or at least I have, and so I'm thinking that some of you may be in the same situation where you go out into a place where it doesn't feel safe to necessarily, um, you know, you want to protect your energy because you know there's a lot of negative energy out there. So you pull that all in, like I said, and you bundle yourself up. But we kind of do the world a disservice. I mean, I know that we can't totally hide our vibration, but... Um, I've always believed and as I've studied, like the higher vibration is more powerful, but if we're pulling it into ourselves to try to protect ourselves, then we're not sharing it with the world. And I honestly feel like that's like part of our responsibility to shift things because if we're shifting our own vibration up 
and you know doing meditation doing mantra work doing whatever you do to make yourself more high vibe then you need to share that vibration with the world in a way that sets the intention strongly that hey um i'm not inviting your vibration to come in and mess with me but um like in my own house i, I like to practice um really just like when I meditate, putting my vibration and my aura through the whole house. And I know I've had people come in and they'll be like, gosh, your house feels so calm, so peaceful, so high vibe. Um, but if I stop doing that, that feeling will go, it'll go away, right? If I don't set that intention. So I feel like when we go out in the world, yes, as empaths, we do want to like set that intention that we don't pick up other people's emotions. Um, and I think a lot of times it can be really just as simple as setting that intention, unless sometimes we'll still get them because maybe um, we can help that person or something, but you can always ask, like if you're out, like, is this mine? And if it's not mine, let me let it go. Or if I'm supposed to help, let me be directed to the person I'm supposed to help. Because I've had that happen where you sit down and somebody's by you and the vibration you can feel coming is is like sadness or anxiety or fear and you can talk to that person and try to help them or send them love hey janice um but my thought is when we go out into the world as people who do this kind of work and want to make the world a better place we don't necessarily even though i've taught this for years and it's fine if you need to sometimes to put yourself in that protective bubble but what i'm seeing when i'm meditating is that you know, you kind of, I almost see, I guess I watched the matrix and it got this in my mind. Like you watch it, you're putting, you can put on like the outfit that is protective, but let your aura go out into the places that you're going. Let your vibration go out. Let your vibration rule, honestly, because um, if you're going into places where there's a lot of negativity and conflict and whatever and sometimes we just can't avoid that like sometimes we work in places like that and for now we have to or sometimes we have family members I guess that comes up this time of year with holidays a lot of people feel obligated to go these places and a yeah you can cut that out to a certain degree but when you go out in the world if you're the highest vibe you're naturally um, going to be able to put your vibration out if you expand it. But I think a lot of us who are empathic and light workers, we just get really, um, we feel like we have to protect ourselves all the time. And I'm wondering like, hmm, why do we feel like we have to protect ourselves if the highest vibe, like high vibe, <laughs> the highest vibe is the strongest, right? So if you are in a place of bliss and love and you've been doing meditation and you're writing um, mantras or affirmations and you're doing this work, then you're going to be of a higher vibration than a lot of people that you come into contact with in the world. So instead of totally cutting off that and not sharing it with the world, <laughs> I mean, I think we naturally have to, to a certain amount, but then I also feel like I've put myself in a position in some times where I'm, I know I'm going to a place where my beliefs and my energy is not the norm. And so I pull it in and I contract it. Whereas, um, living in flow and living in joy is expanding and putting ourselves out there even just energetically but you know I do like to say that physically and um, metaphysically so um, you know you don't necessarily have to go up to people and tell them anything like that but just um, you know I love to interact and have conversations with um, shopkeepers and stuff and shopkeepers that's like an like a 18th century word there, you know, the cashiers. <laughs> um, I've been reading some books, so I guess that word's in my brain. But I've told this story a lot before, so you may have heard it, but I ended up, um, you know, we have a Walmart by our store and by our house, and I don't go there that much anymore, but for a while they had the best deal on a lot of the things that I got for my kids to eat and different things like that. So I go there quite often and know a lot of people in, if you're not from the US, like Walmart is like kind of like the uh, of stores and they have like 
you just don't know what you're gonna see in there. And a lot of times people have that negative stereotype of what you're gonna see is going to be bad. So I made a, um, a decision and intention to see beauty in everyone in Walmart when I went shopping there because I used to hate it so much. And that's another way that you can do this or you know, to put your aura out there and put your vibration out there. You can just intend to send um, your high vibe out into that store to raise the vibration of the whole store. I know when I made that intention to see beauty, I, I did. I saw beauty in the weirdest way, but when you look for what's beautiful in someone, you will find it. You can always look in their eyes. And even if someone looks like they're, um, you know, temporarily not in the best place, if you search for that, um, that higher self in them, that divine spark in them, then you'll be able to see it even if you can't, if, if they can't. And that's a huge gift to them. Um, I know when I did this, I ended up becoming like really friendly for a long time with a bunch of the cashiers. We would chat and talk about our lives when we went through Walmart. It was just weird <laughs> um, how much I just adored them because I chose to look for beauty um, in a place where most people think it's just, it's not gonna be fun and it's not gonna be pleasant. And so when you set that intention, it makes such a big difference. So I'm thinking that we as light workers, we as healers, we as empaths, we as spiritual practitioners of all kinds, um, it's kind of our duty to put our vibration out there and set that intention that, um, that we're going to raise the vibration of the places we go into just like we spend time raising our own vibrations. And it only makes sense that it would work that way um, logically. But I think sometimes we just, as I said, we get into that habit of protecting ourselves. And that's, I, you know, I'm, I'm not against protecting yourself. I'm not against making an intention to not pick up other people's stuff. But sometimes we may go too far with it and have that story of like the world is a scary place and we get to create our reality so I say that we let our high vibes rule and um, see what happens when we go out into the world and decide to um, to share that with the world rather than closing it off from the world I don't know that's just kind of what's been coming to me lately so let me know what do you think do you think it's more important to share your vibe or to protect your vibe I think they're both probably um, important to a certain degree, but I think sometimes um, we just close off too much, more than, more than we can because we may have a story of, yeah, like I said, just that it could be that the world is a dangerous place or the world is a place filled with negativity and whatnot. And the way that we change it, I think is not necessarily by hiding from it or even fighting against it's just rising above it and um, when we rise above it with our high vibrations and we intend to share them with the world then um, I think we can change the world um, one Walmart at a time <laughs> all right guys have a magical day and I will see you soon